Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are rejoining uh, the Rove 4 here at the uh, moon, as it is about to make a correction to its orbit, uh, really to its inclination here, as we're going to try to hit this crater uh, near the moon's north pole. I didn't even check. It's It might be dark up there, but... Um... If it's dark in that crater, it's going to stay dark in that crater. These are all things I did not consider, but uh, I think I've we've chosen our landing site, and I think we're just going to go ahead and get to it. I'm going to go ahead and start the ullage the engine. It's only a 131 meter per second burn, but I think we're going to go ahead and try to get to it a little early. There's our ignition, and there's our drifting off angle. Uh, yeah, I I should have fought it brought about this a little sooner all right we're going to kill that ignition and kill that burn we do have unlimited ignitions on this aj10 so i'm not entirely concerned about it but it is going to be a problem here when we start our braking burn so uh all right we will get rid of our current node good that does take us over the crater uh 1600 meters per second to arrest it's selling us that currently that burn will take two minutes and 29 seconds uh, we have 53 seconds of Delta V uh, left in this stage, so if we can hang on for a minute. All right, let's uh, go ahead and bring out our retro rockets. Down and locked. I'm probably going to uh, leave this control uh, open, as I will need it later. All right, and that's... To Oh, that is not that's not what I'm staging next. That would be to fire this, fire all eight of our engines, and turn on our RCS for our upper stage. Perfect. I, I am going to go ahead and unlock this primary tank. The added control authority from these extra thrusters here on the, uh, I guess, the landing stage, the retro stage, uh, could really only help us. All right, we are 23 minutes from a node that's going to take two minutes to burn. Uh, I will probably start right at the two-minute mark because I do not want to overshoot this crater. Uh, we do have a little bit of room there on the back side that I will fully take advantage of. Um, landing in the crater is my goal. Being exact on that node is not, although we have more than enough delta-v, even without our lateral tanks unlocked. Oh, that's showing 737. What other tanks here do I need to unlock? Nope. Yeah, all right. We'll just... Oh, come on. Oh, I'm in time warp. Duh. Now we can unlock these... Uh, I don't know. Satellite tanks? Click, click. Oh, hawk. <laughs> KSB, you're killing me here, man. All right, 960 is what that'll get us. What's total? 650. Uh-oh. Did I mess something up here? I may be transferring some fuel from that stage. Okay, that is unlocked. That is also unlocked. Hmm. All right, well, let's just go for it. It's the best we can do. Over the mids, moon, lowlands. We're just over the midlands. I'm hoping that we'll get into a polar biome sometime here pretty soon. Yep. 10, 9, 8. Just above the moon's north pole. Perfect. So really, we can land at any time. And we will be just fine. Though that is some mighty craggy surface features I'm noticing. i say maybe a landing sooner rather than later would be beneficial. Although I really do wonder if that crater is its own unique biome. That's one we're observing off to our right. You know what? Let's, uh, let's fire this up. So I'll edge it in. Engine's good. Uh, you know what? We're going to try to mitigate as much of this as we can. 
ignition. Turn our SAS off for the time being. And I need to pay attention to the map mode here. Keep that spin going. Yeah, we're staying on target. That's awesome. All right, I'm just going to try to bring our telemetry just on the inside of this crater here. Then we're going to kill the engine, plot another node, and see if we can't figure out whereabouts we'll hit the ground. Oh boy. Well, this is certainly new. All right, well, let's... Yeah, that's... Uh, we're all spent. All right, well, I guess nothing to do with that now except stage it off. Stage it off. Thank you. And we'll just uh, pull ourselves away a little bit. And I'm going to do the cheaty thing and use Time Warp to arrest our spin. Because uh, we need to save the Delta V. Alright, and let's get these airbags out. Whoop. Perfect. And I can drop the wheels down just a bit. Uh, I want them clear of the thrust. Alright, so... We have total in the tank 950 meters per second. Where can I exert 950 meters per second to get the most effect? That's a thousand. You bring up you. There we go. All right. Well, that is two minutes out, and we'll put us at a fourteen kilometer. Uh, come on. That would be eight kilometers is in two minutes and 28 seconds. We have two minutes and 12 seconds of fuel. It's very interesting. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring our detachment retros down in case we need that extra little oomph speed. I think we'll start to burn at about 30 kilometers. Yep. There it is. Ignition. All right, looks like we're burning from our engine mount tanks first. No big deal. When our core tank starts to drain, I can start adding the fuel from the rover. Yeah, there it goes. Huh. They're draining unevenly. That is very interesting. Alright, well... Okay, they both completely drained. That's, that's good. We're up to 790 meters per second, plus we got 51 meters per second on the retros. 15 kilometers altitude. Looking pretty good. 
We've shed about half our speed and half our altitude. So we can just uh, keep it focused here. Come on, little guy. You can do it. I have faith in you. Man, it's getting harder and harder to hold this little guy on note. I guess the rover is the thing that's off balance here. Come on. All right, nice and steady. Come on, man, you can do it. All right, I'm going to fire the retros. Oh, come on. Get back on track. Back on track, please. Back on track. All right. Oh, boy. All right. We have 177 meters per second left in the tank. Our current altitude is 4 kilometers. We might actually have started burning just a little, little too soon. Oh boy. Uh, nice and easy. 95 meters per second. 100, slide them up. Two kilometers altitude and falling. Oh man, that might have been premature. Yeah, it was definitely premature. Oh, no, we've got 60 meters per second and a kilometer and a half to fall. Uh-oh. All right, well, we can be a little bit of a... We can take a little bit of a bump. One kilometer. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ignition. Kill it. Twelve meters per second. Dang it. Ah. And that's it. They're done. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Why why haven't we separated? <laughs> We're down. Yes. <laughs> oh boy, that uh some of our scientific equipment is above our transfer stage. All right. Let's get the wheels out and deflate the airbags. Okay. Ah. Come on. Brakes off. If you could get out for Oh. Oh boy. Uh airbags. Wheels up. Please, nothing break. <laughs> All right, we're, we're just gonna let this settle in. We're, we've uh, we've broken off our transfer stage. <laughs> All right, uh, airbags deflate. Let's get those wheels back down. See? Oh man, I've never been happier with the rover design in my entire life. Yes! Oh! All right, well, the margins on this landing were a lot tighter than I thought they were, and we had a uh, incomplete decouplage. But we're down. We're safe. We're in one piece. We have a bunch of useless thrusters. 
And then Tenno, we should probably activate. What's our battery looking like? Oh, we are showing a draw, but we're in the shade also. Not a surprise. Woohoo! Victory wheelies. No wheelies. Do not do any wheelies. <laughs> Let's go uh, inspect what's left here. Yeah, hey, look at that. And this is like half the gravity that's going to experience on Mars. And yet, we're, we're, still, uh, we're still moving. And they're not torquey enough to send us end over end, which is excellent. Yeah, there's some busted thrusters, but hey, we made it. We're down. We've landed a rover that roves. Hey, that thing even landed right side up. I mean, most of it. Good job. Thanks for getting us here, man. It'll act as a uh, on-surface comm station. But let's uh, apply the brakes. Forgot that button doesn't quite work. There we go. Now uh, we can get rid of these. We don't need them anymore. And you. And let's radio it in. Atmospheric pressure scan from the moon's north pole. It's all new. Excellent. Oh, this, I'm so happy with this rover. This thing is a champion. <laughs> it's the good luck of the RA-9. Um, that's what I'm counting it up to. All right, service hydrogen. That's just 24 science. I'm just going to make sure that these go through. Telemetry will give us another 18. Yep, come on. And that is a long telemetry analysis for not moving. Uh, it did not give us the credit for it. Of course not. Temperature scan, 24 science. Please give me credit for that one. And come on. Oh, seriously? This is how it's going to be? All right. Just to make sure I'm not misreading this, I'm going to bring this up. 6936.7. 24 science. That one didn't even show up on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not even transmitting anymore. They're not even attempting to radio this in. We have a connection, everything. Yeah, all right, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll get more data later. How's our battery? Still looking good. All right, I'm going to uh, park this little guy here for the time being uh, and probably use this uh, nifty waypoint manager. Nope. Create custom waypoint. I don't know how to use this thing yet, so <laughs> set location on map. Where should we go? Oh, you know what? Let's go down in here. Oh, I can only set one at a time. Fly. Okay. I'm going to figure this out off camera. So that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with the, uh, quite possibly the most comical landing yet. <laughs> I do appreciate it. And I'll see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.